Hey guys, what's going on? This is Royce back with the seventh part of our Java Essential training. So in this video, I'll be talking about using Java API documentation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. And if you like this information, give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoying this course. So let me know in the comments below if you have any question. All right, so that's being said, let's get started. Okay, so let's say if you want to find out about any class, any object, anything in Java. So what do you do? You click here and then press F1, right? So it gives you information about your classes, Java object, but right now it's telling me the system class contains several useful class fields and methods, right? So you can use IntelliJ IDEA to figure out what are the things and if you wanna find out any classes, uh, if you want any information about any object or any class, right? Or any method. So, but there is another way that you can access a full complete documentation through the web, right? So I'm gonna go to the web now, and this is a Java 8 documentation. Let's say if you wanna learn about the compiler, I can click on this Java compiler page. Let me go back. If you wanna learn about some web services, these are all the web services available. You can even download this full documentation by going to Java SE download or Java 8 documentation downloads, right? But it's a big download. So I prefer myself to access this documentation online, right? So what you can do here is, let's say if you copy this link, right? I'm gonna copy this link and let me go back to IntelliJ IDEA. I wanna show you how you can access the online documentation in uh, IntelliJ IDEA. So let me close my project now. Okay, so let's go to our configuration, project defaults, project structure, right? So if you go to your documentation part, right, there's nothing here right now. Click on plus sign and then, oops, so click on this plus sign with this circle. That's basically a URL for your documentation. So you really, you will find the exact part already there. But if you don't, you can copy and paste it here. So I'm gonna click OK now, and now we have attached um, Java documentation to IntelliJ IDEA. So I'm gonna click OK now, right? So let me go and open my project again. And now, uh, if you wanna find out about um, system, right? Online documentation. So what I do, Shift F1, okay? It's going to open that uh, browser, and then it's gonna take me directly to that object or class or any method you need to find out, right? So, which is really cool. So I'm gonna close this now. And let's say if you wanna go find out about the main class, so Shift F1. Well, it's not gonna take you there because um, I'll show you one more thing here. So if you go to view, and let's say if you go to system, right? And go to view, it's give you a quick documentation and external documentation. So on um, Mac, it's Shift F1, and for quick documentation would be F1 only, right? So this is how you can attach the online documentation to IntelliJ IDEA, which is real cool. All right, so that was a quick tutorial, um, and stay tuned for the more videos of the series. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, follow me on Twitter at awaysmirza01, and you can follow me on Facebook or Snapchat. Well, links are in the description, so check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.